you are a liar. I didn't facilitate $57.5 billion loan for Biafra. Okonjo Iweala exposes IPOB Simon Ekba. Now to the news info. The director of the World Trade Organization, WTO, Dr. Mgozi Okonjo Iweala, has debunked allegations by Biafran political activist Simon Ekba, claiming she facilitated a $57.5 billion loan for Biafra. NPO reports that Ekba claimed that the World Bank and International Monetary Fund, IMF, has agreed to, loan, to a loan of $57.5 billion for the Biafra Republic government in exile. It therefore alleged that Okonjo Iwela facilitated the loan. The World Bank and IMF have agreed to loan the sum of $57.5 billion to Biafra Republic government in exile, BLGIA, to form our government after December 2, 2024 declaration of Biafra. I thank our sister Nkozi Okonjo Iwela for helping me to facilitate the loan, he said. <clears throat> Reacting to this, she urged those seeking to misuse her name to desist from such acts and noted that the statement was false. I know no sensible person will believe what is contained in the outrageous tweet below, but in these troubled times, it is important to underscore that the statement is false. Again, I enjoin all those seeking to misuse my name to desist. Probably like us, how will she approve $57.5 billion for you to do your Biafra nation? It is good that she has come out to the bunker, but who knows? Ugochuku Lago says, this is obviously a fake news. Unity cannot be sustainable under unfair and other man's behavior. The government should do the needful and be deliberate for national cohesion and reconciliation for all inclusive national development. Exactly, it is that reconciliation. <laughs> that they should work towards and they should first of all release Nam the Kano and try to talk to him about it. What are the things that we can do to make us not divide as a nation? What do you want us to do? Listen to these people. You make them feel unheard, you make them feel segregated and you keep them wanting them to fight for the Afro nation. What you are doing to them, <clears throat> they don't like it. That is why they want their Biafra nation. But well, if you can talk to them, negotiate things, ask them what they want, and hey, maybe they will listen to you. Adamu Kabiru says, no worry, the truth will come out. Exactly, if it is truth or if it is a lie, one day we are definitely going to find that nothing stays hidden forever. Engineer Demola Saibo says, Mommy Biafra, congratulations for the approval of the funds for the development of South South. Please send our own funds for other religions. Don't be biased. But I don't think it is true, and she has come out to say that it is not true. So let us just believe her and take her vote for it. Ozumba Charles Chidiose says, There is a brain behind this alleged loan facilitation. It was aimed at having the global discussion of Biafra, and the aim has been achieved. Mugus don't understand the brain behind this, but have been ranting like toothless bulldogs. You will not hear their voices when Fulani terrorists invaded them and raped their mothers. Wise killed them and also live in their forest. But whenever it involves Biafra, they will find their voice and start talking rubbish. <coughs> Gambo Mohammed says, if it happens that the IMF World Bank loans such money to Biafra, Nigeria must pull us from this evil and hypocritic finance houses. How would they <coughs> pull out? Well, where, where, so where would they go to? They are always borrowing now, so they have nowhere to run to. They cannot pull out from anything. Efo Leonen says, nobody should take Samuel Ekba seriously for lying against Okonjo Iwela. At least the man has come out to debunk it, so until, if it is true, definitely it will come out. It can't stay hidden forever. But if she has say, said that it is not a, 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 a truth, if she has said that it is a lie, let us just believe her. Amebi Atibi says, do your Biafra and leave the innocent woman alone, I beg. Solomon Dubu says, Biafra has gone instinct, no noga feasible. You can't force people from rivers by your side, delta, cross river states, acquire bomb states to join you. Mm. Ishola Jamal says, Now that Madame Okonjo Iwala has denounced Biafra movement, what next for IPOB chickens running around in the east aimlessly by? 
she didn't deny so she only said that she did not approve any funds she didn't say uh, she did, she's not the biafra supporter or anything she just denounced the fact that she did not give them any loan Th that is two different things you don't know if she supports or if she doesn't support femi says nigerians god will help all the children born of nigeria blood and deliver us from all evil hands against us amen Ola Emibode says, Thank you for posting this here. The Igbos have consistently hid their heads in the sand like an ostrich and cunningly blamed others for the errors, folly and misdeed of their forebearers, the erratic Namdi Azikiri and constantly inebriated Akun Iransi. These are the people to blame for your failure to attain your delusional Biafra. But we know the Igbos very well. They will direct the blame to the North, Yoruba Muslims, Obafemi Awolowo, Benjamin Adekunle or even Bola Hamed Tinobu. Mm. They know what they are saying that is making them say that they want their, their Biafra nation. The amount of killing that happened during the Biafra, it is, it is sad how people lost their life just because they say, oh, they want their own nation. And you resorted into war, into killing a lot of innocent lives. And yet, they are still agitating for this thing that they want because they do not feel wanted. They don't feel as if they, they are wanted. You don't want them in places of power. You don't want them to become the president of Nigeria. And this thing is supposed to be rotational. It is supposed to be rotational, but, but yet only two, two, two tribes are always going for it. So what do you expect them to do? And they are able to say that, okay, well, if by force you say you don't want us to be in place of power, let us have our own nation so that we can appoint our own president, get to do things on our own by ourselves. We don't have to wait for you people. Yes, you don't want to do that. You arrested their leader, kept him in the SS custody, even after the Supreme Court has said you should let him go. It is, it is obvious that you people are doing things against these people. How do you want them to feel? They'll keep feeling bad and keep saying that this is what they want. They'll insist that this is what they want. <coughs> You're so sorry, you says. It does not never say anything. Mm, it is well. Victory Ozebe says that Simon Ekba is a fool to have made a malicious damage statement about facilitating a whooping sum of 56.5 billion naira against our respected daughter, Dr. Konje Riala, of Director General of World Trade Organization. This alone is enough for the Federal Republic of Nigeria to seek for its extradition from wherever it is, maybe. Hmm. Solomon Dubu says, Ekba is a criminal just making money from people he brainwashed. Onabuchi also says, Ekba is becoming a radio without battery. That man, I don't even think that he feels what the Igbos are actually feeling because you are over there in Finland, you are enjoying. And yet you are telling these people to sit at home. You are telling them not to go to work. You, you don't exactly know what they are going through because you are not here. It's, it's, you might say that, oh, you understand their plight, you understand what they are going through, but you, you, can't, you can't understand 100%. Because you're in Finland, you're enjoying good governance, you're enjoying good rules, you're enjoying everything, but you don't know what they are going through. Then you tell them to sit at home for two days, not to go to work. I, I don't like the style that Simon Ekba is using, really. I do not. My listeners, over to you. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Do not forget to like, to share, and subscribe. Thank you for listening to you some other time. Bye.